Find it. Number six, do you have any meat products at all? No. So nothing, no sandwiches, beef, pork, chicken? We're fully committed. We've got hundreds of biosecurity officers out here, day in, day out. They take great pride in the work that they are doing. They're implementing and maintaining Australia's biosecurity. We are doing everything we can to keep FMD out of the country. I think what stood out to me was the, the importance of multiple touch points and, and having uh, multiple opportunities for people to declare and come clean, so to speak, and making sure enough of those things are very uh, visible as well, so people have multiple reminders of their obligation and what they should be doing. Look, it just gives me further confidence that not only are we just not doing measures because it looks good or it makes farmers feel better, this is also about a far more um, experienced process that this, uh, not just this airport, but many other airports, the Department of Agriculture, uh, uh, DFAT, Border Security and Border Force are going through in order to keep our industry safe from a disease incursion. Well, I was very impressed to see the way, the way they manage people and try to put people through the, through the system, but obviously uh, not, not trying to speed them through, they're actually trying to make sure they actually, uh, it's not just a tick and flick exercise. It's been fantastic to see both the controls that are already in place and the huge amount of work that's already in place to safeguard industry, but see some of those additional measures like the foot mats. As we've seen the risk profile increase off the back of, um, of the disease being detected in Indonesia and Bali, you know, we're seeing a lot more resources go over into uh, those countries and also Papua New Guinea and Timor-Leste. So, so some of the measures that we've implemented include raising raising awareness, so for all travellers they'll be reminded when they leave Australia about the risk of FMD if they're on holiday to Bali. While they're in Bali now we've got communications out at resorts, uh, we've got materials set up at airports as well. When you board the aeroplane and you're coming home you're reminded again you have Australia's biosecurity video and a lot of our biosecurity video is about keeping FMD out of the country and when the plane lands we actually have a biosecurity officer board the plane and remind you once again remind the traveler once again that that document that incoming passenger card that you're declaring what you've brought with you is a legal document and you must fully inform us what you're traveling with and where you've been and passengers are required to walk across mats with um, a, a sanitization fluid to clean their shoes as well and if um, they're declaring anything, they will also be taken through for a full, in, you know, for a full inspection as well. Uh, certainly I have more confidence in the system now than I had uh, a few hours ago, um, recognising the percentage of passengers that are being screened in some form or another uh, is impressive to see for sure. Um, you know, there's not many passengers that walked out of the airport after they picked up their bags here without some form of screening. Uh, and again, that, that profiling gives you a lot more confidence in, um, in how well they're, or their ability to pick up uh, incursion, you know, potential incursions, I suppose. You know, I wasn't too concerned about the capability of our biosecurity system. And I, I think the way we should be approaching this is there's this massive increase in awareness and this heightened level of concern but we've got a very good biosecurity system. So I think everybody's doing everything they can, but it's also important in the current environment that we, every day, think about what else can we do. Uh, you know, the, the number of dogs that are there um, was, was really impressive as well. And um, clearly they're, you know, they're trained to, to um, be able to pick things up that we, we normally couldn't and the efficiency that that creates as well. So uh, by you know, being able to screen a lot of people in a very short period of time um, is, is, is brilliant. I think travellers are doing a fantastic job. 
Unfortunately, some have come back with products that they shouldn't have and the, the full force of the law is there and they've received infringement notices and some of them have had to pay significant uh, dollar values uh, there. So there's a 12 penalty units, that's $2,664. Be rest assured that there's a, there's a very dedicated group of people here uh, who are you know, really professional and, and, and treating people with dignity, but also making sure they go through a really rigorous process. Um, and my message would be keep your foot on the pedal. It's, uh, this is, this is, uh, it's critically important we get this right and we, and we uh, don't take our eye off the ball. It's really, it's, it's really good stuff. Thank you for working with us, industry, and, and that goes for travellers and airports and tourism sector as well. There is a big thank you. There's always more we can do. We're all responsible here. Um, but the Australian government is doing all we can to keep FMD out of the country. Thank you very much. Thank you.